What up, y'all? It's Alex. We're going to go pretty quick this time, so get ready, all right? Everything you can do is a balloon. I'm not even going to edit this video. We're going straight out the gun. So first off, what's going on here? The first minute and 40 seconds is basically just going to be someone meandering on a keyboard. Now, longtime viewers of my other breakdowns will note that I usually break down every single element, kind of like I do later. But for this, I'm gonna view. I like to view things in the macro. For these breakdowns, we're we're thinking about more about arrangement. We don't always care that much about all the nitty gritty details. So just note that hey, if you're good at playing, let me turn off my Wi-Fi. If you're good at playing the keyboard, maybe you can have a nice key intro where. There's no like repeating patterns in here. They're just playing keys. It sounds really cool. It sets a tone. It's very nostalgic and stuff. It really kind of sets the table. Um, I view it as kind of a more innocent, slightly creepy sounding intro, but then we get into the groove, which has a little more cynicism. Like it's a little more sinister. And uh, yeah. And note at the end of this key thing, they're gonna play a few notes right here. I'm gonna make a little mark and this really kind of really sets us up for this now i know i just talked a lot but listen here we go Cool, so now the groove starts. Key thing to note, we have this four chord progression. This is gonna happen for the rest of the song. These four chords are gonna play for the rest of the song. They're gonna slowly raise up in volume and get a little more intense as it goes, but it's gonna be the same chord progression for the rest of this. Let's look, it looks like about five and a half minutes. So buckle up, because we're gonna groove hard. Now we have a kick drum and a shaker thing enter the game. Listen for those here. Cool. So we have those enter the game. We have the chords play. Now this is going to happen for a full eight bars until we get something new. So like what happens in a, at least some some of the other breakdowns we did towards the Canada tracks, they find a groove and they stick with it and they just really milk out the groove. So again, we're going to tune in at the end of this first eight bar interval, which is just them playing this groove. So what changed? We got some more drums. We have a two and a four. If you're wondering what a two four is, basically when you're counting the tempo of a song, you go one, two, three, four. Tempo of this song is 91. And so again, you go one, two, three, four. On the two and the four, that's normally where you hear a snare drum or a clap. Not always, but it's, it's very common. So you got one, two, three, four. Just like there. Then we have this hat that's playing eighth notes. It's kind of just keeping a pace. It's eighth, eighth notes in this context are cool because it kind of it almost gives you the feeling that hey, we might be here for a while. I'm just really holding it down. I'm I'm holding down this tempo. Yeah. So again, yeah. At this part, we had the drums kind of suggesting that they were going to come in, and now the drums are full on. Plus, we have bass notes playing. These bass notes are really accentuating the chords. They're hitting at the same time as the chords, and they're just pulling us deeper into this groove. So we're going to get that for eight bars, and then we're going to get added harmony. So what I mean by that is the chords are going to sound bigger because we have this new synth. It might be the same synth like when they actually made it, but for our sake, I'm going to call it harmony new synth. And this is just playing notes on top of the chords that exist. And so yeah, let's just listen to the end of this and go into that.
Cool. So I know I let that play for a while, but basically, yeah, you can see how this new added harmony is just pulling us a little bit deeper into the groove. And that's, again, the name of this track is just groove, groove, groove. So that's going to keep happening. And then once we get to here, notice it's going to change. So right now this added harmony is going do, do. But here it's going to go high and then go low. Do, do. So that's cool because now this is building off of this. So even though we're just getting the same, see how everything else is the same on both sides? This change is allowing us to have some variation in the groove and keep interested in it. So that's pretty tight. So yeah, so that happens for eight bars. And then we're going to repeat that for another eight bars. But we're going to add a little bit more to the chords. Remember how I said earlier, those chords are going to keep building up. So now we're going to get more action from the chords. They're going to be a little bit stronger here. And then we're going to have this little tiny melody come into the game. Hear that chord there? That's a really special chord. It just sounds really nice. And as you can see, we kind of have these eight bar interval things happening. And in this eight bar interval, we were able to get some interesting variation with this extra synth, this like little synth line. But they're not gonna repeat it here, which many people might do. That seems logical. Instead, they're gonna insert this chord and this splash of, this chord has so much personality in it that once we hear it, it kind of takes us out of, like it's so new and novel that we just really dig it and that allows this groove to maintain its freshness and keep us wanting more. So we're gonna get hit with that chord and then we're gonna dive into a whole new melody here. So again, remember what I said earlier, This the name of the game on this track is all about keeping a groove and then adding different melodies and different melodic combinations to keep it interesting for a really long time. Because at this point, look, we're already, two minutes into this groove or more like almost a little more than two minutes one might say so yeah so let's listen to the end of this and then we'll see what happens Really great, this melody is beautiful. And I love how this synth that happened earlier that plays this little melody, it actually responds really well to this synth. Uh, I say that in the sense that, notice when this synth line is kind of stalling for a moment when it gets to this note, this comes in and fills in the space sonically and it's just really pleasing. So listen for that. Listen for this synth responding to that synth. And now the chords are very strong here. Listen to the chords right here. And now listen to them here. So see what I mean? You're, you almost wonder, how did we get here? But yeah, I added an extra note because it sounds like there might be, like see how these chords are built out of four versus the chords earlier built out of three? Because it sounds like here the chords have more energy. It sounds like, like, they may have had a filter on it that were blocking the high frequencies and now they're letting some of the high frequencies out. The chords just have more power, they're filling up the track more. And so in general, the track's just getting more and more full, which is exciting. So now we're gonna keep hearing this melody. So it's following a pattern as before, which is that this extra synth thing is only gonna happen every 
16 like it's going to happen in an eight bar interval then it's going to be gone for another eight bar interval so like that happened here that's also happening here which kind of allows us to hear this more on its own because once this comes in we get distracted by this a little bit so this allows us to get a little bit of a different feel because now that this is gone we're going to appreciate this even more and have even more focus on it and um yeah, and we're also setting us our, ourselves up for a slight cool down here before we lurch back into the groove there. This little melody comes into this new, 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 and some of the drums are dropping out. So we're, we're chilling for a second, which is common because we've just been grooving for a while. So they want us to chill for a moment, hear this new melody, so then we can get back into the groove. I noticed here I made this pink because it sounds like those harmony notes are starting to move around a little bit, which is important because they've just been playing the same thing this whole time. And so now that they're moving a bit, that just creates a little more variation in this groove, which is important because we've been in this groove forever. Um, so it's these little differences that help us stay interested in the groove. So let's listen for that. And then notice our super cool melody is coming back soon. point out here this is cool because remember this little melody from that breakdown you know this little one now we're hearing that happen again in conjunction with this melody and that combination did not happen over here see we have this here but we don't have this over here so I just think that's cool to point out because part of why again I keep saying this but it's because this is kind of like in some ways it's it's so critical for this track it's just cool to hear different melodies layered on top of each other over the same chords because that's variation and to play a groove for five and a half minutes variation is very important so that's just special so basically everything plays and then at the end we're gonna have this one last melody join into the party it's just playing high notes and descending down which is cool because I feel like this downward slope kinda makes us start to feel a little bit like okay things might be winding down and they are winding down because we're getting close to the outro so just listen for that so just listen for that high melody So at this point here, we're just getting some stuff filtering out. We're getting some volume dropping. We're just chilling, um, which makes sense because we've just been hearing this thing forever. And then...
And there you go. Because it's Boards of Canada, instead of just fading it out, they fade it out, but then they add this little weird sample in there that's kind of different sounding than the rest of the groove. But that's cool because now it's just, I don't know, it's just weird. And they tend to do like little weird things like that. So yeah, to summarize, this track starts with a solo, gets into a deep groove, it introduces a lot of different melodic components, it slowly builds up the pads and chills them back out, um, but basically they work with the intensity of the pad a lot, coupled with different melodies coming in and out, and then little splashes like with chords and with little side melodies, and that's how they get you to listen to this groove for such a long time, and then they wind it down at the end and add a weird sample because why not so yeah please subscribe check out my track response go to any streaming service type in alex wilcox response subscribe to this channel comment tell me what you want me to break down next and yeah have a good day love you guys bye bye